I came across a problem with a task that I goes, was going through at work. Um, and what I what was happening was we have this customer here, um, company XYZ. Okay, I've changed the names here so that uh, I don't use my real company names. But um, we had uh, essentially this company XYZ and uh, there was a given sales rep that kind of managed their account. And all of a sudden, inventory on the product that I was selling here, that's what these quantities represent, it was running really low. We were running out of product all of a sudden. And so I reached out to my salesperson because I looked and I saw, you know, company X, Y, and Z was essentially the only individual, the only group that was buying this product. And so I reached out to the sales rep and I said, hey, what's going on with this? Um, the usage really increased on this product. We're selling tons of uh, tons of this product to this customer and we're gonna run out now. So um, that's okay, that's kind of a good thing, but I don't wanna run out of product. So I need you to tell me, are we, are we gonna keep buying this much product? And the sales rep got back and they said, we've been buying this all year. And um, I said, yeah, I, I, I know we've been buying this all year, but we need a, a we need to know because the usage has increased. They're, they're buying more. And they said, and the sales rep said, no, they've been buying this all the time. It's it's no different. And I needed a quick way because I could send this to the, to the rep, right? And say, no, look, they're buying a lot more. But at a glance, it's really hard to tell um, just looking at this data right here that this customer is really buying more than they did before. Okay. So Instead, I came up with this. So over here on the right here, I have the week, the week number. So here, I'm going to expand this a little bit. The week number and then the number of sales. So the week number just represents the number of the week in the year. And you can see here, week 38, we got 26 sales, 37, 36, and 35. We only had two, six, and seven. In fact, we've never, ever had a week that big where we had 26 sales. So... Um, but it's kind of tough to explain that to my sales rep just looking at this data. So I needed to kind of compile the data in a different way to present to my sales rep. And then they came back to me and, of course, was like, oh, I'll fire, try to figure out what's going on, why they're buying so much, and if that's going to continue. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. So the first thing I need to do is I have sales dates, but I need to figure out which week this is a part of. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a new column, and we're just going to call this the week and then we can use it this one's really easy we just use um, week number okay we select the date and that's really really easy okay so now we have the week number whoops drag this down now this kind of helps us but still not as clear as what we have over here on the right. So this just tells us the week number. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out unique values. In other words, I only want to pull, if, see how many sevens there are here? I only want to pull one seven out so that it's kind of like over here on this spreadsheet uh, or on this data where I only have the one seven. So I'm going to pull that out. I just come over to my, um, I'm going to duplicate what I've done right over here in these headers right here. So week number, I'm gonna type equals unique, and this is a really cool uh, function that, as far as I know, isn't in Excel, it might be, but uh, um, it's in Google Sheets and it's it's pretty great. So I just select um, everything here. I'm just gonna use this shit. Um, Okay, so we've got everything selected. And then what it does is it populates the cell where I had unique and then everything underneath it with the unique values. So it's kind of nice. I'm just gonna copy and paste that into a value. So now I have, oh, whoops. All these, copy and paste this into a value. All right, so now I have the weak numbers, but I wanna add up the total number of sales here. Okay, so I'm going to use equals sum if, and I'm going to, the range is what I want to compare it against, so it's going to be this week, all right, and then I hit comma, what I'm going to, my criterion is the week that I want to actually use, and then I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to add up the quantity, or what I'm, the total sales, okay, for that week, so I'm going to go ahead and close that off, and then pull that data down. 
and now you can see I have my data and this is probably enough data to be able to give the sales rep and say no look in week 38 we had way more sales however um, it makes even more sense if I can add a date to it so this date this week date all that is is the start date of that week so that's the Monday of that week so um, to get that I'm gonna do that in this column right here so to get that it's really easy I'll, I'm just gonna use uh, I'm just gonna take this date and I'm gonna subtract um, the weekday of this date and then we're gonna do comma three now what that does the weekday is whatever day of the week it is so essentially we're saying we're gonna take our original date and then we're gonna subtract however many weekdays are in it so basically take us back to the beginning of the week and then the type that's what this three represents the type is the uh, the number indicating by which numbering system you want to use so three says I believe it's like something like it, it gives me Monday as the first date really it's not a huge deal it just gives the sales rep a roundabout time of when that week occurred so um, I plug that in I get 123 I should get here I'm gonna just see if I can there we go um, so I should get the same yeah yeah so for week seven I have 213 for every single week um, and then I want to pull this date over to here so to do that I'm gonna just copy these real quick and paste them here and then we'll do a quick V lookup so we're gonna look up this four here now all of these formulas we go other over in other videos so I don't want to spend a ton of time oh, whoops going over them you can check out the other videos that we'll link to in this uh, video um, but they're pretty easy to they're pretty easy to use all right so now we have all those dates oh we're gonna have to format that so we want to go uh, format number and date all right so now we have the numbers that we can share with our sales rep and say hey look no look usage is uh, the the number of sales is increased we're gonna need to adjust our purchasing so that we have enough product to sell and if we don't we're gonna run out so it's important that we uh, increase that and it's really easy to share that information